Hey everyone, and two weapons back again with ya. Wanted to do an update video on the Rhineland Arms PSL replacement stock that I purchased for my FPK Druganov. Uh, it came out really nice. I had it professionally done. I had it professionally done mainly because I just never had done something like this before and didn't really have the time involved to do it myself. So sorry to disappoint all you guys out there who thought I was going to do it myself and um, I was I was bound to fail on it and for a piece like this I really wanted to come out nice. So contacted a local guy who owned a business, a finishing custom finishing business. Uh, he was real good. He had me bring it in, told me what I needed to do. Uh, uh, was able to match the color that I wanted, which was kind of an amber, uh, amber honey type color, which uh, I'm not exactly sure what this color is, but it, it matched it very well. He did an excellent job with it, put a nice high gloss finish on it for me, uh, and, and gave me a very reasonable price to have it done. So ultimately for the price I paid, I saved myself hours of work and uh, most likely having to strip it down and start over again because I didn't like the way it came out. So. Um, really happy with the way it came out. What I'd like to do guys is kind of just break it down a little bit closer here for you so you can kind of see the, the uh, colors and the shades a little bit on the, um, on the stock and the foregrip. Uh, compared to the originals you can see it's got a lot more color depth to it. Uh, it's uh, a lot shinier and it's much bigger as you can see the replacement stock itself uh, in the back is a lot longer. So it, it, it definitely helps the hold of the rifle which was the, the main intention of this gun. Uh, next to having a good looking gun. Uh, so let's go ahead and break it down and we'll, we'll show you what it looks like here guys a little bit closer. Alright so let's get a little bit of a close up on the stock and show you the shades and maybe a little bit of the features of the stock. You can see the colors came out pretty nice compared to the original stock. It's got a little bit more of a red color to it. It's really nice. It makes the tiger striping pop out a little bit more. Tiger striping really isn't as prevalent on this piece as the a lot of the examples online are. But you can kind of see the tiger may, tiger striping a little bit better on the bottom of the stock here as well as inside the hand guards. The color itself is very similar to a honey amber. That's kind of the example that I provided him. He was able to match it up through his local Sherwin-Williams. Not sure exactly what he ended up with, but... Uh, it certainly looks like it's a good color to me. It's got the uh, butt pad on the back there, rubber butt pad, adjustable cheek rest. It has the sling bar. Don't know if I'll actually use that. Might just mar up the surface of the finish here a little bit more than I want. Over on the right hand side it has the adjustments there where you're able to raise or lower the cheek rest by unscrewing these and pushing that in or out. The color on this side came out really well as well. Again, there's not a lot of tiger striping on this side. Fit into the gun very well even after the stain and varnish process. I didn't have to do any adjustments with that, so that was very helpful. Front hand guards came out pretty well. You can see a little bit more of the tiger striping on the front hand guard, especially the lower one. Again, the bottoms seem to really pop with that tiger striping. Overall really nice. It's got the, as you can see, the two spots there where you're able to screw in a bipod. Don't know if I'll do that. Might put a little bit more undue pressure on these wood hand guards that's ne than necessary. Very few imperfections that I could find at all in any of the, the stock or the hand guards. So they did a little bit of sanding on this, but you know it comes from Rhineland Arms in a really decent state altogether. There's not a real whole lot of sanding that you have to do. The machine marks are real minimal. Uh, and overall, it's a real nice nice stock to start with. So that's how it came out, guys. Uh, I don't know. This isn't a gun that I can use at my indoor range, and it's pretty cold outside right now at this time of year in Wisconsin. So, you know, I'll probably get it out to the range maybe this spring, and we'll show you guys how it operates and do a little bit more firing with it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I highly recommend that Rhineland Arms Tiger Maple stock. It adds a lot of cosmetic look to the PSL or the FPK Druganoff and uh, I really like it on mine. If you have any questions let me know. Appreciate you watching. Thanks guys.